with all this bad blood between the band, could anything ever mend their troubled relationships? What led to the first time that you were basically fired from the band? Oh, that, that was just a misunderstanding, man. You know, there's, you know, we like to have little noshes backstage. So I took a cheeto. It happened to be Teddy's last cheeto. Oh, the world's collapsing because I ate a freaking cheeto. And Teddy got a little angry with me and kicked me out of the band for that. I don't want to get him in trouble, but it was just a fucking crazy, some crazy nights, you know? And we just like, fire. It's just like, it's like from, it's just fucking bright. And it just, it inspires us. You know what I mean? It inspires us, man. And it was one single cheeto. One single, that was the last one. Jack, I was making a fucking mess. There's Cheeto dust everywhere, all over our tour bus. On the door handles, on the roll of toilet paper. I offered it to him, but he said, oh, it's been in your mouth. I don't want it. It's like, we made that so many times, and he wouldn't take a Cheeto. God. Nice guy, I guess. I'm not gonna kick him out of bed for Cheeto dust, you know. The tour was great. In front of the crowds, you know, uh, the crowds was like, Totally different, totally different Teddy, totally different spaghetti, totally different person. It was hard to see him the same way the crowd did, because I saw a different spaghetti. Well, I saw several different spaghettis, but that's another day. I kind of feel, even though he kicked me out of the band, like we had like a uh, sort of a connection. You know, we both had problems with our urinary tracts. And we bonded over, you know, we had a long, long talk. I'm sorry. We got long talks about it. It's hard, man, when you're trying to pee. It's tough it's coming out. I said I wouldn't cry. I'm sorry, man. You're telling me he was a different noodle off stage. Totally different noodle. And used what? the wrong one many times. Used the wrong noodle many times. That sounds painful. Or dumb. Go with dumb. Yeah, I threw chairs. They did shit. <laughs> I was goofing around. God, pussy, fucking get out of the way. You know, fucking Teddy Penne or whatever the fuck his name was. I was like, you know, I was goofing around. Fucking get over yourselves. How do you react to some of the, uh, the smoke? Yo, brother. How do you react to some people? Giving you the nickname online, a couple memes online of uh, Rigatoni. You know, it's just insulting, okay? They weren't there. They weren't there that night at the Whiskey You Go Go, but somebody saw me and I was like, wet noodles all over the guitar, baby. Fucking magic. And they weren't there for that fucking Rigatoni. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Are you sad you never got married? Yeah, I didn't get to live my dream out. Fucking Teddy Spaghetti killed me. For what? For what? Over fucking cleaning shit? Fuck you, Teddy Spaghetti. You ruined my fucking life. So do you hold it against Teddy for what he did? Well, yeah. I mean, he was the one behind the wheel. So I heard, because I was asleep. You could see I was leaning against the window, and then BAM! But I heard that he was the mastermind behind the whole thing. Teddy's the one. He'll pay. <coughs> what are you gonna do with rigatoni? What are you gonna do with it? You're gonna fucking eat it. This is what you're gonna do. Spaghetti? You're gonna play with it. Why? Because it's fun, baby. I know I'm the fucking most fun. What do you want to see more than anything else? Or like on the show, or like in life, or on the tour. I feel like you have to be more specific here. In your really doing it living me. dead existence, what do you what do you want to see the most? I want to see Teddy go down. Dead or alive, I'm just still your ghost host with the most. And I would really like to go back and uh, scare some friends. See what they say, you know? Just kind of sneak up behind them and while they're in the mirror looking at themselves. I'm just like, behind them. Just to see what they say. You don't feel the documentary might give that away. 
Well, I'm gonna do it before the documentary. Now I have to rethink my whole plan. When the fallout happened between Teddy and Vicky and, of course, Stephen Steele, what side did you take in that? Jenny? You know, Vicky was sort of a, you know, B.I. B.I.S. What is it? B.I.S.C.H.B. You know the word, I'm a bitch, you know? I mean, she, she never treated anybody with any respect. You know, le you know, le least of all us, you know, the road crew. We were, you know, to her, we were just, you know, we were just more pieces of equipment. She's sitting there telling me how to fucking set a stack up. Like, I don't know how to set up a fucking stack. What side did you take when Teddy and Vicky and Steven split? Oh, you know, Vicky and I, we go way back. I mean, like, I knew her for seven days before she hired me. I had to take Vicky's side, man. She's cool. She's cool. Vicky. Yeah, Vicky. Watching the two of them go at it all the time. It got to be too much after a while. She got all mad at me because I bought the wrong beer. How am I supposed to know? Beer in America is E-E-R. I'm used to the German spelling I-E-R, you know, like peer. I didn't know. That's right, I see here in your record you dropped out after fourth grade. Couldn't take the teachers, man, you know? Alphabets, like it's gotta be the same order every time. It's crazy, man, it's crazy. My hair's cool though, right? Looking good? I feel, I, feel, I feel like I earned my stripes, you know? So I, I was the one making sure everything went off without a hitch, making sure that, you know, all the all the equipment was all sounding all right and everything. So who really was responsible for the slip and slide? The money's been paid. Why can't you just tell us? Who was it? The Roosevelt Hotel? Everything happened. Everything in your wildest dreams. But we didn't do it. We were just there, man just like the devil killing your baby and we were just here. <laughs> Fucking lies, man. The hotel. Man, I, I couldn't even tell you, that was a wild night. I think Teddy Spaghetti is just responsible for everything. Everything? Everything. So no one's gonna take responsibility for that. Responsibility? The world is responsible, man. America is responsible for itself. And we're responsible for America too. Genghis Khan. Of course. The Black Death. Mm -hmm. Might have been Teddy who decided to start with all the water. For Katrina. Yeah. It was Wade, maybe. Now I don't remember. We were all we were all getting pretty wild that night. You know, they they weren't exclusive just themselves. They like to include everybody. What's it like having uh, Jack back in the band? He was out, he's in, he's, he's like Oprah. He's fat, he's thin, he's fat, he's thin. <laughs> out of it. <laughs> well, you're not wrong about that one, dude. Global warming. Fuck yeah. Soviet Union? Yes. Fires. Fucking love fire! Jack Sparks is like a real it's a real pain in the ass, but like at the same time, you know, he's a competent player. You know, he's like he's like the Michael Anthony of Van Halen. You know, it's like you want your real core family members to be in the band and be make up that band, but your son's not old enough, so you hire somebody else to you know fill that role, and then tell him he's doing a great job for like 25 years, and then kick him out and put your son in his place. You know, the potato famine. How is it not? I don't know, cause I don't even know what question was. You know, like, because what are questions? You know, who is Jack Sparks? You know, who's Fetty Spaghetti? You know, we're just, we're just rockers. You know, one's alive and one's dead, you know? But there's like, there's a connection there. You know, it's otherworldly. Rice Krispie Treats? Yeah. Doritos? Mm-hmm. Fritos? Yeah. Onion rings? So it's everything! Everything! Titty Jam! Titty Jam! Titty Jammer! Titty Jammer! Titty Jam! Titty Jam! Titty Jam! Titty Jam! Titty Jam! Titty Jam! Titty Jam!
can't remember who was the first one to do the slip and slide though. I know I went down a couple times at least. Elon Musk. Yeah. You know, after the hotel incident and everything, and you know, we owed a lot of money. And they're like, yeah, yeah, cheering us on. You don't hold it against him that he is still alive. <laughs> Listen, he's definitely a piece of shit. I mean, one day I'm definitely gonna murder his ass. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Jack? Welcome, bro. I appreciate it, Teddy. I think that's all we need. <laughs> you got it, buddy. Press the button.